It's your boy Trill Flame, and I'm back at it to give another video. If you guys new to the channel, make sure you guys slap that like and subscribe button. And today, y'all, yeah, I said today though, like for real, it's like today, like I'm dropping a video today. But hey, y'all, I told y'all I was gonna be making a video, y'all, on how I felt about. I told y'all I was gonna make a video about grading season six and how I felt about season six and was season six in an L or a W. But let's get straight into it, man. Of course, y'all, of course, we was, everybody was hyped for season six. Because we saw one thing. Glitch, we, we saw one thing. Let me look at that top. Come on, come on, God. We, you see it. You see what my team in nine days love. You see what's at, you see what's at the top. Glitched reality. Of course, we got it. Of course, we got the level four the reward. Jar Smith who was underwhelming. If you don't know, I'm going to be honest. If you do not know how to use Jar Smith, if you don't actually know how to use him, he's not worth it. Period. If you don't know how to use him, don't don't sit up here and grind yourself. Don't sit up here and waste your time grinding for the card. And the next thing you gonna know, you gonna you ain't gonna like him. Cause I I did that when it came to Dave Robinson. I thought I was gonna like Dave Robinson this year. For some odd reason, I don't like Dave Robinson. This year. He can't rebound for shit for me, and his jumper sucks to me. But that's besides the point. The glitch market, I only seen the glitch market once. I only seen it once. I got Frank the Kill. I was mad because I wanted Taco off Miles Turner. Or Tyron Lou. But the glitch market, I still, I don't care if I got into the glitch market. I still feel like it really don't exist like that. RNG base, bro. It's like, luck base is horrible when it comes to this game. It's all, like, triple their own line. Like, this season was straight up luck base. Pax was great. Pax was good. Pax was... I liked it, the Pax we got. This. What Pax did we get? We got these. We got these. We got the Gotham Pax. I think we got these Pax this year. I think we did. But we ended up getting the Radio Raptor Pax, the Mystery Pax, the Out of Position Pax was a W. Idols? Idols was trash. I don't... Like, Idols was like... Besides Kevin Garnett, y'all... Melo sucked. He can't curve slide. Uh, what other packs we got this season? What other packs we got? We, of course, we got the, uh, I think we got these. We did. I think we did. We did, we got the, did we get the Pantheon All-Star Packs this season? No, we didn't. I don't think, I don't know what, I forgot, bro. I forgot. 2K dropped so many packs, I forgot what packs we got this season. But yeah, bro. Like the pack, packs just like to me. This part of the, this season, it was a great season. But on a scale of one to ten, I give this season a six point eight, a six point five. And the reason I give it to them because, of course, like we got good packs only on Fridays. Of course, they gave us the Galaxy of Danny Fro, which he probably like the fifth best card in the game. Fifth or sixth is the best card in the game. Other than that, bro, what did we really get that was glitched? Besides the Mondorosa. Like, we really didn't get nothing that was exciting. And I'm not talking down on 2K. Next season, 2K, if y'all want to, like, next season has to be a depth. It has to be. Because this season was an L. The pack drops was... Uh, uh, it was good. One week, the next week, they was trash. Like, the Midas, I know they ain't make no money on the Midas. Like, we know what you care about, y'all. That bread. They ain't make no bread on them cards. Like, they ain't make no bread at all, bro. I don't I don't care who you think. I don't care who you is. All who you work fit. They ain't make no money. At all. Like, none. No more. I no money at all, buddy. Like damn it, shit. But yeah, bro, it's like this season was like the of course the level forty reward Jr. If you don't know how to use Jr., like I said, he's not worth it. It's coming to the point, bro. Like yeah, Dave Robinson was good. Jr. good too, but you gotta. It's it's coming to that point. You gonna have to make Lamelo. You gonna have to make. 
a dark matter Lamelo or somebody. Is he gonna have to make a Lamelo or a Paul George that can play point guard in order for people to go for the level forty award? Cause I don't really think a lot of people went. A lot of people went for Jr. But it's like they literally like some people probably still level thirty three and they can still get Jr. Smith. Cause there's so many challenges in this game, and they made it. The one this. This season was up. And the reason this season was up, first of all, I had to bring it up. Tyron Lue. Bro, the season had started. This, bro, they dropped Tyron Lue like, they, like three days after we found out. Like three days after the season started. That made the season unplanned. Like, bro, why am I playing this for somebody over have Jared Smith? Like, that made the season, like, not worth it anymore. Because you literally just, uh, like, uh, here you go. Then they was dropping these locker codes, bro. So you telling me, like, they was dropping locker codes that, like, bro, they dropped two time around new locker codes. Nah, the first one, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't at work when they dropped the first one. I don't, like, bro, I was asleep. And somebody, and I woke up, I woke up that morning, and everybody was like, I seen it. They dropped a lock code, and somebody literally had J.R. Smith. I thought it was fake. I thought he was on PC, but no, somebody literally had him. That ruined the season, period. This is probably one of the most luck-based seasons ever. This season was so luck-based, bro. If you, if you got good luck, you probably got every card. If your luck is trash like mine when it come to my team, you didn't. Me besides me getting Danny Ferry. But, uh, hey. Yeah, I got Terry, so that's all I expect. But, that's besides the point, man. But, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you guys slap that like and subscribe. And y'all y'all let me know on the, in the comment section, y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you guys rate season 6? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys snap that like and subscribe button. I'm out with y'all. Peace!